And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Welcome Tom to Vassal. Dice Tower! Today we're going to talk about Hide and Eek! Hide and Eek from Game Riot Games is a very interesting game because this is most definitely a children's game, but at the same time, I would venture to say that there is a fairly in-depth strategy in this game, at least, okay, maybe that's, maybe that's going too far, but it isn't your typical kid's game, although the artwork sure is for kids. I like it anyway. Let's look at it. There's a hundred cards here. Each card has a picture of an elephant on and they're a number from 1 to 100. 36 of them are laid out in the grid like you see thus far face down. Each player takes a card and puts it in front of them. For example, here I have the 33. A silly, silly dancing elephant. On my turn, I roll two dice. These dice, one of them is a number showing an arrow that shows how far I can move, which is from one to six spaces. And I then move the mouse that many spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. I can move anywhere I want, just not diagonally. Then I look at what else I rolled. If I rolled higher, I need to find a card that's higher than 33. If I, need, if I roll a lower, I need to find a card that's lower than 33. If I find an odd, I need to find an odd number. And even, I need to find an even number. I may pick any number that's adjacent to me. So let's say, for example, I turn this card over. And I said higher. 98. Yeah. Now, I'm allowed to go again if I want to and draw one of these cards. But if I'm wrong, I'll lose the card I got. So I won't draw again. However, if you notice, look, there's a little mouse there. Anytime you see a mouse, anybody can grab the mouse thing, shouting eek, and now it's their turn. So once we replace the card and we continue to go. Let's say we go here and we say higher than the 98. And we turn over 31. Well, that's not higher than a 98. You need a 99 or a 100. Right. So we continue on. And we leave that card face up. So in the future, somebody can go here. And here's where you can use strategy. For example, let's say I got, have a 98 in front of me. And I roll lower than. Well, I know I can take the 31 for sure. But I'm going to take another card because I think the chance of me getting a card that's lower than 98. And then I can take the 31, allowing me to get two cards. It's a very interesting way to get a strategy because you're trying to get as many of these cards as possible first person to get ten of them wins the game and that's basically it but it teaches kids odds evens lower less than greater than and it gives them some strategy like I just showed you even if there's face up cards let's say there's a 22 here and a 3 here and I get less than I might move my mouse to that spot just so I can snag both cards oh yeah, by the and maybe another one yeah I saw the mouse there Artwork is fantastic. Dice are good quality. It's a good game. Like I said, this is a game that little kids can play against adults, and they're basically fair. Uh, even with the small, you know... Even it, the littlest kid can get lucky. Yeah, because yeah, you really can get lucky and win. Like but I think it's fun. I think you have choices. I think you have strategic choices, and the game teaches quite a bit in it. Uh, it's a good mathematical game. can work well from kindergarten and on up. I, I really feel that... This is one of the best games I've seen for kids to play with their parents in a, in a long time. And the artwork is fantastic. What do you think? I like the artwork too, and it's fun to move the mouse around, to grab the mice and say eek at the same time, and it's just a really fun game. Are you good at the game? No. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. 